as the nobel prize season has begun after the nobel prize in medicine there is one more nobel prize 2023 that has been announced and it is the nobel prize for physics has recently been announced so this is what we will be looking today hello and welcome to the in depth series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the nobel prize in physics 2023 and it has been awarded to three scientists so there is two male and one female so first of all about the timeline first we'll be looking at the news then matter of attanoseconds for which the nobel prize has been awarded then attanosecond science what is it then what are the potential uses of it in the end prelims mcq topic is of relevance from quick from the perspective of quick facts for prelims because many a times it has been asked that the year 2023 nobel prize for physics has been awarded to the names becomes important and then for the purpose for which the award has been given becomes important so these two are the most important things the news talks about physics nobel 2023 they made it possible to watch electrons move they here represents three scientists and it is the nobel prize given in physics 2023 so these are the three scientists whom the award has been provided and that is first scientist is pere agostini he is french scientist then it is frenz cross he is an he is from hungary and then again it is any hellier who is a french scientist and she be now becomes the fifth woman who has been awarded with the physics nobel till now so great great moment for the women fraternity also if with regard to the nobel prize so let's begin so pere agostini frank cross and any holier has been awarded the 2023 nobel prize in physics and the and the purpose or the reason why they have been awarded for the discovery or for the experimental method that generates eto second pulses of light for the study of electron dynamics in matter so if in simple words i tell you then we all know that atom is the basic or the fundamental value which which composes of everything so to be able to understand the matter and the atomic particles and the sub atomic particles we need very 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 specialized knowledge and specialized systems to study the dynamic nature of atom and if we want to study the dynamic nature of atom we need to study the electron dynamism because we will know that how the electrons within a sub atomic particle moves and to be able to study the electrons movement in the sub atomic particles we needed a way out because till then before these three scientists have made the study before that it was not possible to study the sub atomic nature of matter and for to study the sub atomic nature we needed to study the electron dynamism how the electron are moving inside the sub atomic particles and to study the sub atomic particle it was important to know about the discovery of the eto second pulses of light because it is because of these pulses of light that the dynamic nature of the sub atomic particles within a matter could be studied we will be looking into the detail that what is eto second pulses of light and how they helped in the study of electron dynamism in nature but just for the, for the your reference that you need to remember that why the three scientists that is agostini cross and hulier have been awarded the physics nobel prize so that is for the to generate eto second pulses of light to study the electron dynamism and hulier has become the fifth woman to win the physics nobel now what has happened is that atoms or molecules make movements or changes okay let's before st i start to go into the detail let me just ask you a very simple uh, let me just tell you a very simple story like 
imagine that there is something some fruit or you can say that uh, apple is kept and then you are standing at a distance and this is the apple for example and you are standing at a distance here and imagine that if a person who is standing at a distance from the apple tries to shoot the apple so will the other person or imagine that will you people be able to see that how the bullet has been shot and how it has pierced the apple because the speed is so fast that you people will not be able to see what has happened and what you will be able to see is the end result you will be able to see that the bullet has pierced the apple and has passed by because that is the end result that you will be see but the in between process is so fast the in between process is so dense it's so fast it is so high on in intensity that because because our human eye is not made to see such highly intensified and fast movements we will not be able to see it so this is what even these scientists have been able to do it now that i have given you this reference you would be able to relate to the things that i say because we will be talking about the things that normally we as humans and our eyesight or our nature we are not meant to look into such deep movements of particles because that is something we will not be able to figure out from our normal eye so now let's begin so atoms or molecules make movements or changes now this is very obvi obvious like imagine if there is an atom then atom will move or it will change its place like for, imagine first it is here then it will change its place and go somewhere else then it will change its place and go at some other places that take just a few picoseconds or femtoseconds now what is the meaning of picoseconds picoseconds means trillionth of a second it means 10 to the power minus 12 of a second this is called picosecond then comes the word femtosecond so femtoseconds is even smaller than picoseconds that is 10 to the power minus 15 so there is picometer there is femtometer femtosecond but there is one more there is one more unit which has been identified and which was e which is even smaller than the femtosecond and that is the discovery that these scientists have done so what happens is so this is how things move or how atoms and molecules moves so this is the speed at which they usually move so imagine if a molecule is moving or an atom is moving at this speed which will we be able to see it from our normal eye no we will not be able to see it that needs specialized specialized objects that needs a specialized experiments to figure out that how they are moving and how fast they are moving then scientists have found innovative ways to observe these processes and one of the innovative ways is using unimaginably short pulses of light because if we want to see that how fast within how many trillionth of a second these molecules or atoms are moving we need to have a very very short pulses of light because like imagine if we want to observe something we need to be faster than that like if we are doing something and we want to observe our we want to observe something then we should be able to have a sight which is faster than the thing which is happening because then only we will be able to observe that thing if we are not as fast as the thing which we want to observe we will not be able to observe it that is the reason these molecules or atoms were were moving so fast that we needed a specialized short pulses of light which needs to be so short that they can observe or they can make us understand and observe how the atoms or the molecules are moving in a trillionth of a second similar to using extremely high shutter speed cameras like for example when we use a camera and we want to observe or capture a moving object now what we do we need to the camera need to have a very high shutter speed like imagine if the if we want to observe or capture a movement but the camera does not have a very high shutter speed then will the camera be able to observe it or will the camera be able to capture the movement no the camera will not be able to capture the movement because the camera is slow and the thing that we want to capture is fast so if something which is capturing the thing which is faster than it the thing will not be able to capture it because imagine 
if we want to capture the movement of a cheetah then we need to have the shutter speed of the camera which is very very fast then only the camera will be able to capture the cheetah who itself runs very fast so this is how things will move because now we will be coming on to the main thing why am i telling you about the speed and about the atoms and how fast they move then why light particles are important this you will be able to understand so this was about the picoseconds and the femtoseconds now let's begin matter of eto second so the unit which i was talking about that is even smaller than the femtosecond is eto seconds and it is a discovery of the eto seconds for which these scientists are awarded because they because of the discovery of the eto seconds we will be able to see the electrons dynamism into the sub atomic particles of the matter and that atom as we itself know that is the basis of or is the fundamental of all the all the living creature or of everything which persists today so this will open the doors to study of many new things and we will be able to analyze things from a new perspective so matter of attoseconds so there were processes that were even faster than the femtosecond the end femtosecond was 10 to the power minus 15 seconds which is happening within a few attoseconds so now attosecond is 10 to the power minus 18 picosecond was 10 to the power minus 12 femtosecond was 10 to the power minus just see this see picosecond 10 to the power minus 12 femtosecond 10 to the power minus 14 or 15 while attosecond is 10 to the power minus 18 seconds so imagine how 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 fast and how small it is so the motion of electrons within the atom for instance femtosecond photography was considered the limit so what happened was to observe the electrons movement within the atom it was considered that femtosecond photography was the limit that the people cannot or the scientist cannot go beyond femtosecond photography it means the photography within the 10 to the power minus 14th of the second so it was considered to be the limit and because of this limit the sub atomic particle electron dynamism was not being able to study atomic was able to study because of the femtosecond the sub atomic nature was not able to study sub atomic nature is even smaller than the atomic nature so we needed something which is even more advanced than the femtosecond photography so that became the attosecond attosecond photography was developed and the production of shorter pulses of light in the attosecond range did not seem possible till then only femtosecond photography was considered possible and attosecond photography was not considered possible because it was considered that very short pulses of light this much short pulses of light will not be possible but then came the experiment which three of the scientists have done and they have mixed so many lights and the units of lights together that in the end they came up with the revolutionary innovation of the attosecond science that is around 10 to the power minus 18 so light pulses the only plausible tool to capture processes at the atomic level cannot be made indefinitely shorter so this was the problem which was considered that the pulses of light so pulses of light has a limitation because the wavelength needs to be followed because a complete wavelength needs to be followed for the pulse of light so it was not considered to be indefinitely shorter it has a limit for itself so light consists of waves or vibrations in the electromagnetic field and the shortest possible pulse would have to be at least one cycle long equivalent to its wavelength now this was the problem which was coming that a single wavelength has to be there in the what do i say a shorter wavelength has to be there in one cycle of light so what was becoming a problem that one wavelength has to be there because half wavelength can't be there it has to be one wavelength complete 
to be the shortest even the shortest of the cycles of light has to be there then this cycle used to take at least a few femtoseconds to complete and that is the reason why femtosecond photography was considered the limit because the shortest of cycle was taking a femtosecond to complete which was longer than the subatomic motion that was happening in a matter of attoseconds now what happened was that in the femtosecond the atomic particle or the atomic nature was being considered but the subatomic motion within the atom could not be observed in femtosecond cycle or the femtosecond photography because the subatomic motion was so fast within the atom that it needed the attosecond photography to take place but till the time only the femtosecond photography was made possible because it was thought that a single cycle of the light or a single light cycle to move needed at least one one wavelength to cover because that is the shortest of the path that the cycle that the light cycle would need to follow but a short the single wavelength had to take place in the femtosecond scientists were therefore unable to glimpse the motion of the electrons with existing technologies so within the subatomic particles the movement of the electrons was not observed at the subatomic level, level things start to happen even faster so that is when the problem comes because the at the subatomic level the things are very fast dynamics of the electron are 100 to 1000 times faster than that of the atom this is very obvious like imagine there is an atom and within the atom there are electrons so the movement of the atoms and the how fast the atom is moving the electrons is because the electrons is inside the atom the electrons would be moving even more faster than the atom now atom is heavier because of the nucleus and has greater inertia so something which has greater inertia will move slower while electrons on the other hand move very faster and scientists developed innovative methods usually by mixing lights of different wavelengths to produce attosecond pulses now this is where the experiment for which the nobel peace nobel prize in physics has been given is this that the innovate innovative method to study the electrons at the subatomic level was made possible by mixing lights of different wavelengths together the wavelength was considered to be of utmost small wavelengths to produce the attosecond pulses and when the attosecond pulses of light was observed and was discovered then the study of the electron at the subatomic level using the attosecond pulses became possible so this was about the experiment so you need to know few things first is that the subatomic level movement or dynamism of electrons it is the attosecond cycle or the attosecond pulse of light which has been discovered or because of which the discovery can be done or for which the physics nobel prize for 2023 has been given now what are what are the potential uses which can take place or the significance of this discovery is that the variety of areas from electronics to medicine across disciplines in physics chemistry and biology so electronics to medicine it will be helpful in everything and especially in the category of medical science particularly in finding therapies for cancer care because the attosecond will be helpful in seeing the atoms or the subatomic particles and also the cancerous particles from a very very uh, you would say dynamic position and the detailed study can also be done so it will be ex of extreme help in the healthcare sector now in the end of prelims mcq any people need to tell me the answer in the comment section the 2023 nobel prize in physics has been given for see if the question would come from nobel prize then the question will be of this nature either it can be match the following or the match the pairs that 
the nobel prize would be written the category and the name for the experiments or the name of the person who have received it or it can be asked that for which experiment it has been given so these are the type of question which can be asked and it can be asked in upsc also it can be asked in pcs also so 2023 nobel prize in physics has been given for a developing mrna vaccine against covid 19 b development of quantum computers c study of proton dynamics in matter d study of electron dynamics in matter so as we have discussed this, this becomes an easy question for you people to answer so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing